Okay, so we're here in sunny London with Matt Letizier, who's uh, just been taking part in the binocular challenge. So, Matt, how weird was that experience? Uh, yeah, it was It was very weird. Um, Viva obviously asked me to come down and have a go at it. I'd never seen it before, and, uh, and I thought, well, I'm going for a laugh, I'll have a go, and it was it was difficult. Um, you, don't see, you don't see a great deal when you turn binoculars around the wrong way. Um, and it was, it was very tricky to try and get any any kind of strike on the ball if you if you couldn't see it underneath your uh, underneath your binoculars when you cheated like I did. <laughs> and we saw you having a go at the penalties, which uh, shockingly you missed. I Is that miss ruined my your penalty. record? Uh, yes, yeah, so that's 47 out of 49 now. I'm a little bit disappointed about that. Um, but yeah, I, it was a poor shot. I actually hit the ball onto my other foot, I think. Not that I could see, uh, but it felt like it. And obviously you're a Southampton legend. Has it been tough to watch them struggle this season? But have you secretly enjoyed watching Pompey slightly fail? Um, I, it, it has been tough watching Southampton slide. But I mean, this season, you know, given the fact we started with minus 10 points, was probably about as, as good as we could have hoped for. You know, we got to the seventh place and won the Johnston Paints Trophy. So uh, uh, that's not, not really a bad season, all things considered. Um, uh, I, obviously, Portsmouth's troubles are, are well documented. Um, you know, it's, it's not. You don't. You never want to see a club go out of business, uh, and, and they were very close to, to doing that. So uh, hopefully they can get themselves sorted out, and we can play some derbies next season in the, in the championship. That's if they don't come down the other way. And you stayed at the Saints throughout your entire career. Uh, did you ever consider staying on as a coach, or perhaps even trying your hand at management? Not really. I mean, that, that side of things never really appealed to me. Um, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed the media side of things, and uh, the soccer Saturday job came up, and um, you know, I've really enjoyed that. So kind of. The coaching and management thing kind of went out the window. You must have really good banter taking part in Soccer Santa, yeah, all the lads. Yeah, it is great fun. Yeah, we all get on. We all get on really well, and you know we're quite happy to, to have a debate about things. And, and sometimes it gets a little bit heated. And uh, but you know as soon as the debate's over, we're back to normal, taking a mickey out of each other. And you scored over 100 goals from midfield, uh, over 150, 100 in the Premier League. Yeah. Uh, midfielder that's done that recently, Frank Lampard. Yeah. Is he a uh, modern day Matt Letizia? Um <laughs> Frank probably runs around a bit more than, than I ever did, to be fair. Um, but certainly his record goal scoring from, you know, from midfield has been outstanding. Um, and uh, we just hope that he, he gets his penalty shooting boots on before the uh, before the tournament starts. Yeah, unfortunately, he missed a couple of penalties of late, one for Chelsea and then one for England. Yeah. Do you still think he should be the man to take one if one comes up in if the he's, World Cup? If he's comfortable enough, if he's still confident, um, then uh, then why not? Um, you know, it's, it's always difficult to say, but I think you have to leave it down to the individual to, to know whether or not he's you know he's feeling good enough to stand up there and take one. Obviously, as you mentioned, you had a fantastic record. Only Mark Crosley ever saved one of your penalties. Indeed. Uh, what's your secret to such a great success rate? Um, uh, I, firstly, I wanted to be there. Uh, I enjoy taking penalties. Uh, I like the pressure situation. Um, and, and I kind of was, was pretty good at erasing all negative thoughts out of my mind, really, um, and, and kind of going in there with the attitude that it's a free shot from 12 yards, I should really score. And, you know, invariably you do with that attitude. Did you ever sort of run up and change your mind, or were you always sure uh, of where oh you were? Yeah, if, if the goalkeeper moved a little bit too early, I, was, I could change my mind and, and put it in the other corner. So, uh, yeah, but as long as the keeper didn't move too early, I'd kind of stick to my favourite corner. Uh, recently spoke to Perry Groves, the uh, Arsenal, yeah. the legend, who suggested that England should have selected you for the final 23 <laughs> solely for your penalty-taking ability. Do you reckon Letizia could still do a job for England? Uh, yeah, I could still take a penalty, yeah, there's no question about that, but it might be a little bit of a waste of space, to be fair. Uh, but bless Groves, he came down to Southampton and, uh, and got a bad injury, which kind of curtailed his career, and uh, it's nice to know he was still thinking of him. And uh, you managed to gain eight caps for England, but never went to a major tournament. Is that something that still sticks with you? And you, you... oh, it's, it's, it was obviously a big disappointment. Um, you know, I got, got fairly close to the, to the '98 World Cup squad, um, but you know, wasn't to be. Uh, and at the end of the day, I did, I did my best for, for Southampton. And if that wasn't good enough, the England managers, then there's not a lot I can do about that. And just on the current squad, what did you make of the 23? Uh, I thought there was a couple of surprises in there, uh, for sure. Um, I would probably have, uh, have taken Walcott ahead of Wright Phillips, maybe. Um, I'd probably have taken Dawson ahead of Upson. Uh, and the other one, um, you know, I would have liked to have seen Adam Johnson go. Uh, to be honest, I think he could have given us something down that left-hand side. But it's difficult when you've got, uh, you've got a trim seven. It's, it must have been a tough choice for Fabian. And how do you rate England's chances? Oh, pretty good, yeah. I've, I've, pretty comfortable at least get to the semis uh, and from there on in anything can happen and just one last question just to put you on the spot if Matt Letizia was in charge of England what would be his starting 11 uh, ok David James Glenn Johnson Rio Ferdinand John Terry Ashley Cole Aaron Lennon Frank Lampard Gareth Barry Stephen Gerrard Peter Crouch Wayne Rooney fantastic thanks very much no problem